One of my favorite things about uh, being an energy journalist is getting to interview innovators and their great, about their great inventions. And today we're going to be talking to Fred Ferguson, who's the CEO of Water Rotor Energy Technologies out of Ottawa. They've just landed a million dollar contract with the Canadian Royal, uh, Royal Canadian Navy. And so welcome to the interview, Fred. Yeah, nice to be here. Well, right. look, let's start with uh, a description, uh, an overview of what your technology is and what it does. Sure. Um, this is a, a little different technology than what you might think of in terms of a propeller type device going into slow moving water. Um, it's more of a drum-like device that has uh, large blades. In fact, behind me, I'm not sure if you can see it, but we have a, one of the rotors that actually goes into the systems that we've been testing. Um, very simply, this system rolls with the water, under the water, and it collects energy by creating basically torque or ram, like a big barn door in a light breeze. It blocks the water, and therefore the water has to push it. And what we've created is a push and pull occurring simultaneously at the same time, meaning high ram, high drag, and high lift. That has simultaneously, that has never been done before in terms of a wing or a propeller or a blade. So what does it mean? It means that we can extract very high energy meaning about 65% of the available energy in water, even as slow as one half of one mile per hour. That has never been done before in the world. Now that's, that's amazing. And I can understand why the Royal Canadian Navy is interested in, in it. What kind of applications will the Navy be using it for? Well, they're interested in, in the long run. They would like to basically extract some energy up north. Um, as you know, uh, in Canada's north, we have a limited amount of sunlight, certainly half of the year. And also, I'm not sure about winds, but they would really like to get into a form of renewable energy, which is a big cost saving up north. Um, most generators up north, even Aboriginal uh, settlements, etc., uh, require fuel oil to be shipped in by aircraft. So that means you're talking about you know, extremely high energy costs, like $2 per kilowatt hour, things like that. Whereas a water rotor in a fairly slow moving stream or river or ocean current can extract um, that high percentage of energy. And of course it does it at no cost other than the cost of the machine itself. So this has become very attractive to the uh, Navy and to their systems up north that they're looking into. Uh, we've taken 11 years, uh, no, sorry, we've taken nine years being fairly low key uh, while we developed the system to prove the technology, absolutely prove it. And that's why the Navy as a really a, a first participant came, came to us through one of our uh, executives and uh, it's a great application. It, it sounds uh, almost too good to be true. And, and I've done a fair amount of reporting on run of the river applications in British Columbia, which uh, generate power for about, you know, $100 uh, a megawatt hour, uh, which, uh, you know, so 10 cents a kilowatt hour, right. uh, which is still considered fairly expensive. Uh, is that a good application for the water rotor? Yes, what, where we are and what's different between us and, and typically you see propeller-like devices, uh, Darius or propeller, they all rely on a very low drag, high lift form of propulsion. And that's great if your water is moving fast, but below six and a half miles per hour, um, a propeller-like blade, like the wing on an aircraft, tends to get into a stall uh, situation. Of course, it'll still turn, but it drops off its energy catching ability. So what gives us sort of this big market area is we kind of own the whole market below six and a half miles per hour, as I mentioned, all the way down to half of one mile per hour. Now that's good news in some ways, but it's also difficult news because there's not a lot of energy in half a mile an hour water flow. So our systems have to be uh, built fairly inexpensively. 
And that has been a big part of what we've been doing over the last number of years. It's one thing to prove the technology working, but it's another thing to be able to prove the technology working at a fairly low cost. And, and you mentioned 10 cents per kilowatt hour. That's not a bad price for renewable energy. Um, our systems will go in somewhere below that price, but the better factor to what we're doing is the fact that we can extract it four miles per hour as an example. That's our sweet spot. And most rivers and most ocean currents, the Gulf Stream, everywhere on this planet, you're gonna find a lot of four mile an hour flow. And, and that's what we've been focusing on getting to. Now, it sounds like this uh, technology has application, I mean, anywhere that there's water, uh, which is pretty much everywhere. So what kind of- Pretty much um, the, where the water is at least moving at a little bit of speed. Uh, as I say, we right. capture 64% of the energy at, at uh, half a mile per hour, but half a mile per hour doesn't have much energy. But on the other end of the scale, people don't realize that a six mile an hour flow, as an example, is equal to a 400 mile per hour wind. So you can see what the problem is with propellers and some of these fairly fragile devices. Can you imagine a wind turbine in a 400 mile an hour wind? I mean, that's like a nuclear bomb wind. Gotcha. Uh, last question, Fred, and that yeah. is, uh, I assume that there's widespread application. What's your plan for getting this out into the market and where have you had interest? Okay, so um, I like to make sure people understand, we are not a manufacturer. We are more like an architect. We develop IP and we, we run systems management and therefore we assess large markets, basically government sized markets. And what a great place to be. Here we are in Canada, we're all Canadian birth, what have you. And Canada has more rivers than any country in the world. And meaning there's a lot of energy that can be uh, picked up. We don't hurt, hurt fish. This is a rolling device like a drum. It rolls at water speed. It can be out of sight on the bottom of a river as an example. So what we're really doing is we're basically perfecting the machine and we're at the stage now where we're proving what I call the holy grail, which is low cost uh, electricity projections coming off this machinery. And that's the, we're in this sort of final year and then we expect to turn it out to manufacturers and to some of the global uh, energy companies and let them basically take this on uh, because I think it's gonna be a, a whole new era in terms of uh, energy capture. Fred, uh, good luck with this. It sounds like a terrific Canadian invention and uh, all the best to you. Yeah, I appreciate it. Thanks a lot.